Yo, what's going on, guys? Colton Mush back at it with top five PC hardware deals of the week. It's post Christmas, and a lot of places do have some nice sales up, so shop around. You guys can probably find some good sales. This video is only covering stateside, but if you are overseas, check around. You might be able to find some good deals. With that being said, let's get right into this video with number five. Right now on Newegg, you can pick up the Samsung 850 Evo Series 250GB SSD. Typically, this goes for around $110. Right now on Newegg, it's $90, and there's a promotional code that I'll leave in the description box down below that knocks off another $10. $80 for a 250GB SSD is a really good deal. And the Samsung 850 has really great reviews. I actually was running a Samsung 840 series SSD for a while myself and that worked really well. SSD prices are still not at the point where you can completely forego a mechanical hard drive, but to see a 250GB SSD for $80, that's a step in the right direction. And we're definitely getting closer and closer, and this is a really good deal, highly recommended. Number 4, also on Newegg, you can pick up G-Skill Ares series 8GB of RAM, 2 4 GB sticks. For $30, I think that's the cheapest I've seen for 8GB of RAM so far. If you guys have seen this for $25, post a link down below because that would be nuts. I don't think I've seen that yet, but for $30, 8GB of RAM, DDR3-2400, that is a great price. And it's G-Skill Aries series, which is pretty good RAM, but that price is just ridiculous. I mean, with the release of DDR4 RAM, DDR3 RAM's prices have been going lower and lower, but I was not expecting it to get down to $30 by the end of the year. Really good price. Next on Tiger Direct's eBay page, you can check out the XFX TS series 550 watt 80 plus gold certified power supply for $48. So a 550 watt XFX power supply for $48 and it's 80 plus gold certified. That's a really good price. Typically for this kind of power supply, I would expect to pay like $55 to $65, so it's not a huge savings, but a power supply for a mid-tier build, like a $600 build, this is going to work really well, and then XFX has a really good track record with all of their power supplies, so $48 for a gold certified power supply, that's 550 watts, that's a really good price, and 550 watts, while it may sound kind of low, this can power like any GPU, if you're going for a single card configuration, a 550 watt can power something like a GTX 970, no problem. Moving on to number two, now some of you guys might not agree with me, including this in the list. Right now on New York, you can pick up the Asus VN289H Black 28 inch 1080p monitor. Now I know if it's a 28 inch monitor, you want 1440p. I know a lot of people say that, oh my god, if it's over 23 inches, you can't play a 1080p. Honestly, I don't see where that comes from. I think you can get a 27, 28 inch monitor, and if it's 1080p, it's fine. Sure, it doesn't look as crisp as 1440p. But honestly, this is the kind of monitor that I prefer these days because 1440p, it's just so hard to run games at high settings and 60 frames per second at that resolution with the video card like the GTX 970. So I'm just like, man, I just would rather play a 1080p. Give me a bigger screen and I'll be fine. 1440p does look good, but even for a graphics whore like me, I can't take that kind of a frame rate hit with a mid-range video card like the 970. And considering the 970 is a $300 video card, you know, I'll just stick with 1080p gaming. I'll wait another couple of years before I make the full transition to 1440p gaming. So back to this monitor itself, it's a 28 inch 1080p monitor, it's $160 after a $30 mail-in rebate. Typically goes for around $250, so this is a really good price. It's got a 5 millisecond response time, as far as connection goes, you're looking at a D-sub and two HDMI ports, which is pretty good. It's got built-in speakers, which obviously they're not going to be the best speakers in the world, but that's always something I like to see. So if you do even want to hook up like a PS4 and Xbox One to this monitor, you can do that and you'll get audio. So yeah, if you are a person like me where you're okay with 1080p gaming on a bigger screen like this, check this monitor out. It's a pretty good price at $160 after the $30 mail-in rebate, and even the price of $190 before the rebate is still pretty decent. Finally, number one is the MSI GeForce GTX 950 2GB video card. This is $120 after a $10 mail-in rebate. I was looking for some deals on some lower end video cards and this is really the best I saw. The GTX 950 for $120 is a pretty good price. I actually have a GTX 950 myself and I was able to play a lot of games on it at 1080p at really good settings. I played The Witcher 3, Metro Last Light, Grand Theft Auto 5. I've got a lot of videos on my channel so you guys can check those out if you want. But for a lower end build, the GTX 950 is going to work really well. Obviously, you're not going to be maxing out higher end games, but you can play a lot of games and you're going to be playing them much better than a console like a game with Fallout 4. There's benchmarks online, you can see that a GTX 950 will perform much better than a PS4 or an Xbox One. And right now, if you pick it up on Newegg, you also get some free Heroes of the Storm gift. If you're into that game, cool, you get it for free. If not, don't worry about it, just disregard it entirely. So yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap up this week's top five PC hardware deals of the week. I haven't really been doing it weekly, but I will try to get back to that since you guys have really been requesting me to do more of these. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have a request for a future video, leave it in the comment section down below. Have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.